Hello, this is Isaac, and this is the second part of the View and Laravel data tables tutorial. In this part, I'm going to focus on client side rendering. Okay, in the previous part, I did the server side rendering. Um, and like I said, the difference between them is that client side is I make one initial call to the server, I get all the data, in this case, all the projects, and the rest will be handled by JavaScript. Then that includes pagination, sorting, searching, and so on. So let's start. Uh, I created a projects client side component. Currently, it's exactly the same as the project's component. Okay, exactly the same. And we're going to convert it to be able to handle it, handle data client side in the client side. Okay, so we have the created method and we get the projects. Okay, that so far, this is going to be the same. Now, this is the table data. These are the parameters that we're passing to the server, but well, we don't need most of them. So the draw is not needed. Column, yeah, not needed. We're not doing any kind of ordering in the server. And same thing for length and search. Yeah, we're not we're not doing anything in the server beyond getting the data. So, but we will use it in the client side. So I'm I'm just pulling the, these outside. Okay. And regarding the sorting, yeah, we're going to handle it via these two attributes. But what I would pass, and I'm only doing this for this tutorial, and generally you won't need to do it, just because I'm mixing client side and server side in the same project. So I didn't want to create another route, but uh, I'm just listening to the, I'm just checking if there's a client in the parameters. If there is, I'm just returning all the projects. That's it, okay? In reality, you'll have a different method, but all I'm doing is returning all the projects. Okay, so let's save this and we have nothing yet because we need to actually configure the uh, get projects method. This out, this one as well and we're just going to assign the projects here. Let's save this. And yeah, these are all the 400 rendered. And this is bad, but uh, we're going to fix it later. Now, we need to configure the pagination. And well, we're not getting any pagination data from the server anymore. So we have to do it client side. And so this can, can be removed. And now the pagination object, let's fix this one. Yeah, last page, yeah, yeah, we're not really even using it, so I'm just gonna remove these. And next page, in prev page URL. I'm just gonna omit the URL part because it's not going to be a URL. It's just gonna be next page and previous page because I'm not making any Ajax files. Current page, uh, well, it's going to be one. You know, and initially it's going to be one until the user clicks next or previous page. And okay, so actually I need the total here, so this. That's it. So yeah, this is the total is always going to be the same. It's never going to change regardless of what the user will do. Uh, he might see dip, uh, small amount of projects because he might do some filtering, but it's still going to be 400, right? It's not going to change. Okay, so yeah, no errors. And of course we need we still need to fix this part, right? Because we're doing projects and projects. That's kind of bad. We want to do something like this uh, and paginate it. And currently, of course, we don't have it yet, but it's kind of the same of, of this one, query paginate, right? So let's create this solution. And we're going to use computed properties. These are very useful. So we need to create one called paginated, just like I showed you. And we also need to create another one called filtered projects. So one part, like you see, like you saw here, is pagination part. But the pagination part only happens after I'm doing the order by, and after I'm doing any kind of searching. So we have to do the same thing client side. Otherwise, it, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing, but one is being handled by MySQL, you know, the database. And one is or PHP for the pagination, and the rest here it's going to be handled by JavaScript. Okay, so let me just paste the filtered projects part. So I don't want to work on the original uh, project data because I, I I I can't remove anything from there because if I remove it, it's gone, right? Because remember, we're not making any more AJAX calls beside the first one, so I have to use a just placeholder, a projects variable. 
And then we're going to go over, is there a search keyword? If there is, simple JavaScript searching, okay? You can open the MDN documentation if you're not familiar with some and so on, okay? So this is just a simple search. Now for the sorting part, right? So we need, we have, we have the sort key, right? And we have the, the order of it, right? Because the sort orders, right? We even use this in the server side part because uh, the data table component uses it, right? To determine which class to use. Uh, okay, and the, the data table component, by the way, is not going to change. It's going to stay the same. Now, one thing we need to add, because when we do sorting, um, yeah, actually, it's still empty, but this is a date and this is a number. Okay, so I can't treat them as strings because we're going to get falsified results. So I have to convert it to a data object uh, or to a number, but I need to know if it's a date or it's, or it's a number. So. So when we use array of objects, so it gives us flexibility. So I can just add here type date and I'll add here type number as easy, right? You see, just when you build it correctly from the beginning, it everything, everything is just going to be easier when you add features, remove features. So this part is covered. So now we need to handle the pagination part. So we need to calculate everything in the client side, but it's not complicated. Really, it's really not. So this is the method. It's a paginate method. It's going to accept an array. In this case, it's going to be the filtered projects, a length, which we have here, and the page number. So this is just basic uh, JavaScript calculation. Nothing too crazy. And at the end, I'm returning a slice. Uh, with the page number and that's it just go over it on your free time it's really not complicated okay so here i need to return it actually so i'm going to return this that paginate and we're going to pass the filtered projects because remember the user might sort it a different column or you might search for something so we have to use the filtered project and not just this that project because otherwise it's just go always going to be the same 400 and the length and the current page, which is one at the beginning. So let's save this. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so we have, it's it's working, right? Well, we still need to fix the sorting part and the whole filtering part, because it's still going to make Ajax calls, so it's not really going to work. So let's start first with the sort by. We're not gonna, no more Ajax calls. We don't need this as well. This part, uh, yes, well, of course we're going to keep it, but now, when we when you do sorting and you make a call to the server side, you make fresh data from the start, right? And we need to start from fresh here as well. Okay, so if I'm searching for something or sorting, I want to start from fresh, from the first page. So I have to reset the pagination. So um, I'm just going to add a method for resetting the pagination. All I'm doing is just setting the current page back to one, and I'm just emptying the previous and the next page because they will be recalculated again. So. I'm just gonna reset the pagination here, okay? That's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to do the same thing here. So instead of in, on input, instead of getting the project, I'm just gonna reset the pagination, okay? Oh, actually, we don't have to use it, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Same thing here, I'm just going to reset the pagination, okay? Now, I'm just resetting the pagination. How, how would the data be updated, right? You might ask that. So. When I reset the pagination, I'm changing this value and these values. Now, these are dependencies, right? So computed, par computed properties uh, methods, they work by dependencies. So if this, for example, will change, this is going to run again. So it will recalculate everything, okay? So let's save this. Let's see what we have now. Let's refresh. Okay, we need to fix the pagination part, but let's see if the search is working. Search is not working as well, and we'll have to fix it as well. Let's see. Okay, I know what's the problem. It's not, it's not in the table data object anymore. So yeah, sorry about that. Let's save this. So refresh just in case. Approved. Let's put progress. Yeah, that's working as well. Now uh, the pagination will change, will change of course, and 
So this is fine. We're still passing the pagination object, but um, we're not really getting the get projects. Yeah, this is not good. Uh, yeah, we need to remove that one. So what we're gonna do is simply decrement the current page, and here we're going to increment it. And once we do that, the computed property will just simply run again because it's a dependency, okay? So we don't have to worry about that. Now, I did change the pagination component and I need to pass it client true. The pagination needs to know that it's handling client side. And I did a very small change. I just, here I'm checking, if it's not a client, this is the server side pagination. And this is the client side pagination. Oh yeah, and I actually need to pass it the filtered projects actually as well. I'm just gonna pass it, but it's just it's just a change in how it looks, right? So because it's client side, so I'm gonna show like filtered from because I always have all the data and let me show you here. I'm just gonna pass it filtered projects. Okay, let me save this. It should work. Yeah, if I click next, yeah, this is and just to prove it to you, I'm not making any Ajax calls. Okay. Now the reason I did you see um, filtered from 400 total entries. Okay, so we need to show it to the user because we always have these 400, unlike in the server side. So if I like click progress, so one of 10 of 128 filtered from 400 total entries. So yeah, just a basic difference in the way it looks, and of course we need to calculate it by ourselves. And if we do sorting gonna reset everything we're gonna go back to the first page I'm just gonna remove this one if I do sorting I'm just gonna restart reset the pagination it's very important to reset the pagination when you do any kind of filtering and let's see if I change the length to 30 yeah this is working as well so every time I change something and I, and I reset the pagination the computed properties they, they will just run again the pagination will just simply run again and it will just work. So this was pretty much easy as well. So now that you know how to handle client and service side rendering, you can pretty much add more features to it if you need to add more uh, features for doing filtering. But as you can see, this is very, very easy. It's really easy. I really don't see a reason why you would need to add a library for this. This is also a good learning. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Okay, I enjoyed I enjoyed teaching it. So, have a great day.